What's going on, everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom, and I'm here with, with Sean from Pop the, Fun to the Play. The legend, Pop Fun to Play. Right, we are actually in his store out here in Brooklyn, and uh, we're gonna check out some pops and uh, see what they got. A lot of junk to go through. <laughs> <laughs> this is full of treasures, actually. Uh, it is. It really is. Tons. This is a time machine in here in, in some I, aspects. I say, as well. people walk in my shop and they do this mental time travel. I wish I could see in their head because you see that look on someone's face when they see something they recognize. They're just like. Oh, I had that! So it's yeah. the best. I love it. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and check everything out. Alright, so there's like a wall right here with quite a lot of stuff on it. Uh, just a whole bunch of different categories here. Like we have some Mega Man, Mr. Me Seeks, which is definitely one of my favorite. This thing right here though, Batman vs. Superman, this glow-in-the-dark Walmart exclusive, I've actually been looking for for quite some time. Uh, we do have some Masters of the Universe up here too, like Merman. I have this glow-in-the-dark Tron, which is pretty awesome. And ooh, the Batman the Animated Series Bane, this one is definitely cool. I'm still looking for a Batgirl from the Animated Series though. Um, we do have some other stuff over here as well, like we have uh, Lion Cat from Saga. Uh, some Star Wars, more Rick and Morty actually too. And this is actually one of my favorite Jim Lee figures, this Batman Hush. It is pretty awesome all around. And then of course, my other favorite, you guys know I have the Batman wall, the Penguin Imposter. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff here. We do have this Walmart Star Wars three pack there as well. And uh, some Dragon Ball Z pops too. Batman Vegeta, Master Roshi. Over here too, we do have some of these bombshell Wonder Womans. I've actually gotten into the bombshell lineup lately. I don't know, I think they look cool. Especially that uh, that new bombshell Batman that came out. I said it in another video before, totally underrated. So right here we have uh, actually some kind of a VIP early access to some of his latest haul. Uh, there's just, <laughs> what, one, two, three, four, five, or six big banker boxes here full of pops that uh, I'm actually excited to go through and see if we find anything in here. Ooh, this is a cool one. We have the False God Superman 2016 Summer Convention exclusive. Ooh, what is this? I bet this is Suicide Squad. Yep, we have the Glow in the Dark Killer Croc as well. Over here you can see we have this Walmart 10-inch Thanos from Avengers Infinity War. Ooh, here's a Mickey. Ooh, we have Conductor Mickey there. It's a Batman I see. Let's see which Batman this is. Oh, it's a Suicide Squad Batman. 2016 Summer Convention exclusive. Teen Titans Go Toys R Us exclusive. Rose Wilson. Oh, here's another uh, Toys R Us exclusive. I have this one actually. I picked this up from Funko HQ. And I think this has some really cool glow to it as well. There is. We have another Teen Titans Go Toys R Us exclusive. Man, they have. Whoever had this collection before was definitely into Teen Titans Go. You can tell because we have basically the entire set here. So in here too, we do have a glass case with uh, some other, like so we have some chases in here, some other random exclusives. We have the Captain Marvel Glow in the Dark, uh, Buzz Off, the ECCC Shared. Uh, we do have the Funko Shop Mickey here as well, the yellow one. I do have that whole set also and uh, some South Park ones back here as well. So this shop has so many things. We have statues, there's books, there's music. Look at this though right here. This guy, this Deathstroke, I have my eye on. I've been looking for that Deathstroke for quite a while. This Deathstroke right here. Metallic Deathstroke, he looks so cool. I've been looking for this one for a while and to find one that's in like good condition has been proven difficult for me. Oh, so glad I have this one. Definitely picking this up. So what we have right here is actually his own toy that he had made in 2006. Look at that. Pop Fuzz the Robot. And I mean, just as a souvenir, I think I'm going to have to grab one of these because it just looks, it looks pretty cool all around. Look at his face. <laughs> 2006 right here. Pretty cool design.
All right, so had a pretty good haul here, and uh, I have some stuff to show you guys, but you're gonna have to wait for that. It was, it was super fun here, man. I really it was, appreciate it. We had a fun time. <laughs> it was really cool hanging out. If you are ever in the New York area, like New York City, Brooklyn, you need to come to Pop Fuzz. It's it's a pretty cool store. As you can see, there's just tons of stuff behind me. But it's uh, a treasure trove of yes. time machine material. <laughs> oh, so awesome. So. I guess we're gonna head out and try to find some more cool stuff. All right, so we are here at Toy Tokyo, and yeah, it, it was quite the walk, but I'm pretty excited to see what they have inside. So I mean basically there's just there's like a lot of a lot of commons here and that's not really necessarily a bad thing. We have a ton of stuff as you can see. Uh, there is a little bit of a grail slash exclusive section. I didn't really personally find anything that I liked in there. They have kind of a cool claw machine game here too, which I mean it was like two dollars, but there's really nothing in it that interests me, though I probably should have played it. So finished up at Toy Tokyo. Honestly, it was a little underwhelming. I mean, they have a ton of toys, but if you're looking for pops, not the greatest place to go. They have a lot of commons and some exclusives, but way more toys than anything else. All right, so I made it back to my hotel and uh, it's been pretty eventful day. Like I said, Toy Tokyo wasn't I mean, they have a lot of toys there, don't get me wrong, but as far as their like, um, pop selection, they just have pretty much commons. Not that that's a bad thing, but it just wasn't anything that I was personally feeling for the day. So I did pick up some stuff though, but I think all of it was from Pop Fuzz, which is the store that uh, Sean from Pop Fun to Play owns. And I'll leave his channel link below if you wanna check it out. But I'm gonna show you what I got here. First up, we have a sorter. It says orange and teal Mickey, but that's not actually what it is. I have been wanting to find this pop in good condition for a while. This is the Metallic Deathstroke PX Previews. It's just a really awesome looking pop and the box shape is freaking awesome too. So I was very happy to pick this up. I did also pick up this guy right here. Now this is glow in the dark and unfortunately I don't have a UV light to show you the glow on this, but this is Pop Fuzz the robot. And he actually had this made, he, he had his own toy made and he, it was back in 2006 actually. And it looks pretty cool. And this guy is definitely coming out of box and uh, I'm just excited all around to, to, to have this. It just looks cool, I don't know. And I wanted to support uh, you know, what he was doing because I, I, I like it, I dig, I dig what he's doing. And I also picked up a silver one as well. So I got the glow in the dark and the silver. Both are pretty awesome. And there's one more thing I picked up and it is actually one of the first of these that I have and uh, I'm gonna show you what it is. All right, so I actually picked up my, I guess my first hot toy. This is the Iron Spider 1 6th scale from Avengers Infinity War. And this thing is so freaking clean. Now I'm not gonna open it up and like take everything out, but I can't take the sleeve off. And if you wanna see a full video on this or, or anything else like this, please, please leave a comment below drop this video a thumbs up, whatever you wanna do. But yeah, this hot toy is so awesome. So I picked this up as well. So I didn't go that crazy if you think about it. Not like I, I have before in the past. And uh, I, I don't know, it's been a fun trip all around, a fun hunt for sure. I might stop at some other places. So definitely leave a thumbs up if you wanna see more pop hunts 
from New York City. And also big shout out to everybody over on Patreon. And if you wanna join the Box Attack Army like these lovely people, be sure to click the link in the description. You can sign up for a couple of the tiers where I send you mystery pops out of my personal collection and it supports the channel at the same time. So it's pretty awesome, but I appreciate all the support everyone. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because then you'll be notified of cool videos like this as they drop. So, wow, I'm just, I can't even think right now. I'm kind of tired, so. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom, and we'll catch you later.